got zero. <laughs> and welcome to Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. Been getting a lot of questions lately. Zero, is Ultimate Tenkaichi any good? Zero, should I buy Ultimate Tenkaichi? And that's a very difficult question to answer. And the main reason why I say that is because it all comes down to one thing. Are you a hardcore Dragon Ball Z fan? Now look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself that question if you're interested in buying this game. Okay? Because I love Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not going to lie to my fucking face and excuse the profanity. There's going to be a lot of profanity in this video. There haven't been any good Dragon Ball Z games in years. Okay? The last good Dragon Ball Z game that I played was Budokai 3. Okay? The last Dragon Ball Z game that I purchased was Tenkaichi 1 for the PS2. Now that was a very bad game, okay? And I'll give you some facts right now. If you can't turn Super Saiyan in a fight, that's not Dragon Ball Z, okay? Don't bring me back to the Super Nintendo days with Hyper Dimension. Don't, don't bring me to there, okay? Don't bring me to that damn house, okay? I don't like that 16-bit Dragon Ball Z era. I think it was very bad, okay? Now in Tenkaichi, the bad thing other than the gameplay was that each Super Saiyan level for the characters was a sec was a separate character. As in, if you wanted to play as level 3 Goku, he was a separate character. If you wanted to play as level 2 Gohan, he was a separate character. And that was really bad. Now, I also didn't like how they changed the way these Supers, or the Ultras are called, you know, like a direct in the Super Street Fighter realm, or the Street Fighter 4 era, the universe or whatever. The Ultras, I'm going to call them Ultras in this game, so try to keep up with me, okay? And in that game, it was more like what they did from Storm 1 of Naruto and Storm 2. In Storm 1, it was very quick time of Venice. That is even a word. In Storm 2, it was very... They cut down the length of the specials and uh, how cinematic they were. They cut it down drastically. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with more gameplay. But me personally, I think that it should look as awesome as possible. And if you're going to cut it down to 15 seconds, I think it should still look freaking awesome and not rushed and cheap. Okay? And that's what they did with Tenkaichi, especially when you play Budokai 3. When you're coming from Beast of a Game, Budokai 3, and you look at their Ultras or their Supers or their Specials, and then you jump to Tenkaichi 1... It's a, very, it's a large step backwards. And I think this, in my opinion, and I, st I stand very firmly with what I say, this is the best Dragon Ball Z game I've played since Budokai 3. Okay? Now, Budokai 3 was not a good fighting game at all, whatsoever. But it was a pretty good Dragon Ball Z game. And I want to break down all the modes that this game has. And I want to show you a little... You know, just a little glimpse of what it has inside. So, you got the basic versus mode where you can fa fight the computer or fight your friends. Actually, I don't even really know if you can fight your friends in this game, to be honest. Yes, you can. And I think it goes into split screen. There, I learned something new, right? What a horrible review. Hero mode. The main reason why I bought this game. Okay, I could give I, I could care less for story. They could kiss my ass with that. Okay? But hero mode, you can create your own character. Now, the customization is pretty deep. But in order for you to unlock more stuff, you have to keep playing the game. And when I entered hero mode, and I'm gonna show you right now, it was very bare bones with the customization. Now, this is Zero the Shamic. Okay? He's a Super Saiyan and a Namek. He's a half-breed, okay? Piccolo raped Pam. And I believe Pam is a Saiyan. Now, if she's not a Saiyan, please don't, uh, don't shit on me because GT does not count. And I don't understand why. Why they keep putting them on the same fucking level, okay? I hate GT to the point I don't think... Nothing related to GT should be in any of the Dragon Ball Z games, period. I don't want to see level 4 Goku. I don't want to see level 4 Vegeta. I don't want to see 
Super Android 17, even though he's awesome. I don't want to see that Shenlong dick dude, whatever his name is, that evil Shenlong, that gray motherfucker. He shouldn't even be in this game. He, these guys should not be in the Dragon Ball Z universe. That is a failed series. It is full of fail. Okay, it's garbage. And I'm not even referring to the story. All right, I'm referring to how poorly animated that series was. The animation was so bad. But let me not get into that rant. So, Piccolo raped Pam. He, she had a baby. And, you know, she wanted nothing to do with him. So, she went ahead and did an abortion. Alright, but she did an abortion the ghetto way. Alright? She went ahead and called Videl. Right? I think that's her name. I don't remember that bitch's name. Videl. I think that's her name. And, uh... Videl kicked the shit out of her stomach. But the problem was that since he's a sh he's a shamic, you know how 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 Namics they can go ahead and like lose their limbs and grow that shit out. Since Videl kicked the shit out of Pam's stomach, and the shamic came out of her pussy, he automatically regenerated and he became who he is now, Zero the Shamic. Crazy, right? So as always, we got the interactive loading screens. As always, pretty cool, I guess, right? Shouldn't be any loading at all, but whatever. It is a 3D game, and it is on a DVD, so I guess there should be some loading. Okay, so as we can see here, I hijacked Goku's Nimbus. I went ahead and stabbed him in the in the gut, and he died. And I hit the Dragon Balls in the water, so now no one will be able to find him. And I destroyed all of the Dragon Ball radars, and I killed Bulma and Trunks. So now no one's ever going to find those Dragon Balls. All right? Krillin is too old, he's like, fuck that, I'm not going through that adventure again, I already died too many times, I'm not doing that shit, okay? So, you got a world map here. And, I basically see the character customization in this game as Legos. Because what you're basically doing is you're piecing together all the characters within the Dragon Ball Z universe, right? And, you're, you're piecing them together to make a character. You know, the skills, the looks, the costumes, the hairstyles, everything. And that's pretty cool because you can go ahead and give them the sword. You can give them the, you know, the scouter. I'm going to show you the, the limited customization that's available to me right now. Come on, man, really? And as you can see here, the Shamak is uh, too much of a beast, you know? Too much of a beast. The hairstyles are very limited because I haven't gotten too far into it. But I think it's pretty cool. I can make them look like Raditz slash Brawly, I guess. Or Gotenks. You can go ahead and make them look like Tien or Nappa. You know, make them real bald. But I gave him the bed head. And that's pretty awesome. And you can go ahead and change his skin color to anything you want. I gave him the Shamic hair, uh, skin color, a.k.a. the Namek one. And they got different costumes but again you have to continue to play the game in order to unlock the other ones that one's pretty cool I like that one but I'm, I'm too backed up so of course I'm gonna go ahead and not have my shirt on you know what I'm gonna go ahead and give him a scouter <laughs> oh man I can't wait to find all these assholes and kill them <laughs> and I gave him the fighting style of uh Yamcha at one point and I took it out. Yamcha sucks, he can kiss my ass. My master Yamcha is gonna get killed by me. Oh, uh, by the way, if you guys don't think that that's how you talk, I'm gonna give him the crazy voice. No oh, way, it was evil. No way! Move it! No way! Alright, hang on, no. Let's save it, shall we? Oh, I'm gonna look for Brawly one day and kill him. I'm gonna ass Ray Brawly with my shamic dick and it's stretch and real good. And you can unlock movies and cool stuff and you can go ahead and change the characters' voices to Japanese, which is pretty awesome. But I'm not gonna do that. Which would be pretty awesome if I could talk Japanese. Don't you think that'd be cool? I don't know what that meant, but I said it. And we're now the world map is pretty barren. It does have a lot of locations that you can go to. But it's more of a collection of what's in the story mode. And you can just go in there and just do it. 
and they have training where you fight other people. Let's see here. I can go ahead and learn some of Captain Genyu's moves. I can go ahead and learn Tien's move, which I want to learn. Koho! I want to learn that. You got Yamcha. I beat his ass real quick. Oh, please! Oh, kill me! Ah, I have to kill my master. And look, sparring four, five, and six. I just finished doing four. And as you progress through the sparring matches, they make it harder. Like, in sparring number four, I fought Yamcha busting his ass. And when I killed him, when I really killed him, because of course sparring five and six is available, when I beat his ass, right, Goku came out and tried to get revenge. And I put down my pants and I showed him my shamic dick. And he was like, oh boy! And that's what he did. So we're gonna go ahead and bust his ass real quick. Okay, but before I do that, I know I've been rambling and showing very little to no gameplay. The system that this game uses is very much like Dragon Ball Z Legends on the PlayStation 1. And if you guys are familiar with that game, how the chain system works, how you're chaining your combos, knocking them on the ground, kick them into the air, knocking them through buildings, boulders, whatever you need to just keep the chain going. You're knocking them back and forth, knocking them back and forth, just constantly continuing the chain. And when you're far away, you're in fireball mode. So you can't throw any fireballs unless you're far away. I'll show that when I start to play the game. Now, I may be doing a little bit of crazy role playing. So if you guys can't take that shit, you guys need to bounce. Because I'm a crazy motherfucker. And if you don't think I'm crazy, watch my previous video and tell me that I'm sane or not. Alright, we got the shamic here. Look, I was just looking for Boba. Look, I don't care what you're looking for. I want to absorb all your moves. Hey, what are you like, Cell? <laughs> show me some fun. Game over. I'll show you what a real fighter can do. Really? You'll show me? Let's go then. <laughs> Who are you, Zane? And as you can see here, I'm in range battle mode. I can go ahead and throw some fireballs here and there. You got the heavy fireball to knock them out. And of course, you hold down the... Damn you! Alright, this is where the chain begins. Oh! <laughs> you can't keep up with me! You may have taught me anything I need to know, but I'm a shabbat! Oh! Damn you! <laughs> that was easy. I'm still alive! And the Dragon Balls can always revive me! Shit! Fuck you! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! You're going down! Sorry! Ugh. Come on, bitch! Come on! He's coming my way! To your right! Ah! How'd you get so good? Goku's next. No oh, crap! <laughs> Where's Goku? Oh! 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 Fuck! I'm out of here. Shit! <laughs> oh! Shit! Shit! He predicted it. Come on, use it! Oh really? I have something just like that! Let's do this! It's your set! Say your beam! Impossible! Who are you? Shit! 
You're really strong! I'm gonna kill all of you! Ah! Ah, full power energy barrage wave! Shit! We can do it too! <laughs> What? How is that even possible? That's not even remotely possible! What? Fucking bitch! Behind you! I'm gonna kill you! Use your ultra! I can say what it means you're strong! I think I do a very bad Krillin and Yamcha, don't you think? What? Back attack? Shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, fuck! Ah, my turn, bitch! Stronger than Brawly! Ah! That was pretty awesome, don't you think? So I hope that gameplay kinda didn't disturb you guys, but uh, I'm a crazy motherfucker. And I got problems. And I'm proud of it! So, that was part of the training. I learned a couple of new skills there, I believe. I really didn't pay attention to the screen after I beat his ass. And, got my scouter. Let's see what sit, what see, what power. What's this? I sense something over there. Well, maybe I don't sense it, but my scouter picks it up. Let's go over there. <laughs> oh hell no, fuck that shit. That's a big ass monkey. And over here, I think I can find a Cyberman. That looks like fun down there. Let's go down there. But first, actually, let me go ahead and equip a new, a new move. Hang on, let me see if I can equip. I didn't learn any new auras or anything like that. I'm still on the Yamcha's training, which kind of sucks. I still don't... I don't, I don't know how to equip other moves. Yeah, I really don't... I really don't know how to fuck equip new moves. Um, let's go ahead and do this real quick, hang Fuck, I really don't like this. No, I don't, I can't, I don't got, I don't got the ability to, to install anything new. I don't need Nimbus for this. I'm coming down. I think this is the Cybermen, because I beat their ass a hundred thousand times already. We'll find out right now, shall we? Oh wait, this is one of the Cell Juniors. Whoa, whoa, I got a new opponent! You're going to die, motherfucker! Oh, really? I'm gonna get a perfect on your fucking dumbass! Fuck you! Shit! Perfect my ass, motherfucker! Shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Sorry! Ah! Fuck! You! Fuck you, bitch! Shit! Ugh. Ugh, what the hell? Oh crap! Sorry! Fuck you! Oh, I'm all pleased! I'm just a little junior guy! I don't give a fuck who you are, bitch! Ugh. Oh crappy! Had to fight me. <laughs> that was so much fun. Sorry, Mr. Junior. 
You're fucking dead. I'm gonna tell my daddy. Go ahead and tell him, bitch. Fuck you. All right, guys. So I'm done with the hero mode. Ooh, I got a lot of level ups. All right, that was easy. Like staples easy. Well, not really staples easy. Staples kiss my ass. They made it very difficult for me to get a get some parts there once. So easy my ass. But that's a uh, that's besides the point. So that's the uh, that's the hero mode. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and show you the story mode real quick. Guys, it's a lot of loading. What the fuck? No, oh, excuse my language. I'm trying not to curse much, but I'm a crazy motherfucker. Woo! -hoo! And I take pride. All right, so this is the story mode. One thing I like about the story mode is that they actually have newly animated cutscenes, and that is awesome. You know, that really is awesome. Like for real. To actually have newly animated cutscenes the way Dragon Ball Z Kai should have been. Oh, I'm all for that. But I don't think they're actually very far, few in between, if not only a, a couple in the beginning. Because I'm not really, I'm not really that far into the story mode. I'm actually only up to the Vegeta saga. You know, I only did like four battles, and it's the same world map. Like I told you guys, the hero mode is basically just a collection of the story mode, but just as different set pieces. And that's kind of sucky. But I'm gonna show you how the story plays out. <clears throat> It's it's okay, but I st it's not a hundred percent accurate the way the story plays out compared to the anime. Even when you compare it to Kai, it's not accurate at all. Time's up, and I seem to have wasted mine. The coward Kakarot never came. My father isn't a coward. Gohan, have faith in yourself. If you really want to, you can be even more powerful than I am. Focus all of your strength, then attack. Got it? Okay. Seeing blood runs in your veins too. You should be fun to finish off. Oh no, please. All right, so got a little Gohan, man. I remember when he was beating his ass. That was like, well, no, he was actually beating Vegeta's ass, I believe. That was an awesome fight. Oh my god. I'm okay, gonna go ahead and charge up a little bit because that's about to whip my ass. One thing I don't like is that the animations are very much the same for each character when you're entering the fray, whether it's melee or long range. Which kinda kinda sucks, you know. Alright, go on. There we go. So I can't really they also limit when you can and can't do the specials it seems. Unless it's related to that bar that I'm just being a dick about. Fucking bitch. Out of here that crap. Uh oh, Spaghettios! See, some of the animations are are the same. Some people may be turned off by that. I mean, that's how all Dragon Ball Z games were anyway. You know, all Dragon Ball Z games were like that, unfortunately. I I can't I came to accept that. It's very unfortunate, but that's just how it is, you know. But the game is pretty fun for what it is. I mean, if what you're seeing here looks fun, you know, and you're interested in for the character customization, then I say definitely get this game. We're about to jump into an online match. Here I go. Yeah. Uh oh, the strength out this game. Oh fuck. Ah oh, fuck. Sorry. Oh wait, he. Oh, he told me sorry actually. I don't know how to do other combos, and the training didn't really show any other combos. So I think they only have very basic combos. Yeah, motherfucker, eat that one. Fuck you! Uh oh, stay in Damn, that's how it's done. We're gonna go ahead and jump online. You guys get the gist of the whole story mode. Let's jump online and see how these things fare. Now, I did play a match earlier, and I did win. And there was no lag, which was pretty awesome. But, he picked a character, uh, created character, so maybe he was at a disadvantage, you know? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do this.
Let's see how long it takes for someone to get into the match. For some reason. Oh, look at that. KG971. All right, KG. For some reason, I don't know why, but this song reminded me of Chrono Trigger. When you go inside that, that, that sky world, when Magus joins you, when Chrono dies. Oh yeah, this is, I forgot to show you guys this, this character selects. This is what I understand. Why is this Team Gohan start off as Super Saiyan? You know, it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> and I don't know why Gotenks is started off as Super Saiyan. And same thing with Gogeta, which doesn't make any sense. And I really don't like the character selection in this game. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I, fuck, man. I picked the wrong guy, character. I forgot there was a time limit. I don't like how the, char the character set screen is pictures, but I can see why, because the creative characters are there. So, we're going to pick this map. Man, I don't think this is fair unless he's really gonna whip my ass. You know? This character looks a lot like mine. My Shamik. That's not cool. He stole my idea. I like the music in this game, by the way. I'm gonna download the soundtrack. Okay, let's do this. No role playing, okay? <coughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Uh oh, oh crap. Come on, let's go. Come on, bitch. Try to dodge him, let's go. It's over. What? Crap. <laughs> you. What's wrong, man? Can't take it? Man, this guy has mad life though. Let's try to go away from him. This guy has mad life actually. I got him. Okay. Got him. You see, it's a lot like legends when it comes to the chaining. There's nothing he can do about this at all, period. He's still probably gonna beat me though, because hey, here we go. I'm gonna do my super. <clears throat> Try to intercept that shit. Oh wait, you can't do anything, right? <laughs> Damn, I am busting this guy's ass. I kind of feel sorry for him a little bit. He can't do anything. He can't get out of it. Let's go! It's because you got more life, that's why I'm cheesing. Damn, I'm... I think he's gonna dodge it. Nope. No, he got me. I'm gonna get out of it though. Watch this, watch this. Yes! 
That was a good prediction I did. Fuck, here we go. I'm gonna try to intercept it. No, I can't. I can only evade. What? Holy crap! I, I fucked up. Ah, oh, damn, I'm fucked. I am super fucked. God damn, this guy's with my ass. Damn, man, he whooped my ass. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I'm going to end it here with me getting my ass whooped. Hope you enjoyed this video. I say, if this game definitely looks interesting to you, if you like cinematic fighting games, definitely go for it. If you love Dragon Ball Z, no reason why you shouldn't get this game. As a standalone game, if you're not if you're not familiar with Dragon Ball Z at all, then I say stay away. Unless, of course, you're into Yu Yu Hakusho and maybe some other fight animes, then maybe. But I say for Dragon Ball Z fans around the world, definitely try this game out, whether it's rent, purchase, borrow whatever you need to do check it out i think that the hero mode alone with all the modes i mean with all the different stuff that you're gonna acquire you're gonna you don't even need to play the story mode because the hero mode allows you to just customize your own character and as you can see there see here that guy whooped my ass real bad you know i started off strong but he definitely whooped my ass he took down his pants his he went super saiyan and his pews were gold and that shit was just like hurting my asshole so there you have it, guys. I'll hit you up later. I'm going to go ahead and play some Batman Arkham City. Peace out.